Jamie Dornan admits to his celebrity crush that he used to kiss a photo of her every night. Emma Stone gets her Oscar from a very special king. And Tiffany Haddish sacrifices $100,000 just to be stood up. Could these encounters be any more awkward? It was love at first sight for Hugh Jackman and his wife Deborah Lee Furness, who first connected while filming the Australian series Corelli. Jackman was nervous to let his co-star know his true feelings, but he took the plunge anyway. The couple tied the knot in 1996, and they've been together ever since. Although Jackman is a happily married man now, he has revealed that he used to have a massive crush on Olivia Newton-John when he was a teenager. As he admitted to Magic Radio, I had a poster of her on my wall, and if you find a photo of my wife, at about the same age as Olivia Newton-John in, like, Xanadu or Greece? Very similar. Jackman also revealed that he eventually met Newton-John and made the mistake of telling her about his poster collection. As he put it, I blurted out the story, and she was like, right. She totally was looking at me like, this is a stalker. This is my worst nightmare. So when you meet your celebrity crush, don't tell them. Man, I was like, why the hell did I, why did I say that? Sophie Turner had a very embarrassing moment when she met a certain Canadian teen idol. During a 2018 appearance on The Late Late Show, she revealed that she was with her now husband Joe Jonas when they found themselves at a stranger's house in Miami. And none other than Justin Bieber just so happened to be there as well. I go upstairs and he sat there shirtless in this wow. like dark room getting a That's head massage. No and way. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> After saying hello, Turner went into the closet and cried, but then later emerged and rejoined her husband and Bieber. Unfortunately, her second greeting wasn't so smooth either. I don't know what came over me to do this, but like I turned around, I was like, hi. Uh. <laughs> Turner also had a somewhat less embarrassing encounter with another crush, friend star Matthew Perry. As she revealed during a 2019 interview with Twitter Movies, before she settled down with Jonas, Perry happened to be working near her home, and she regularly spotted him outside smoking. So she bought a lighter one day and decided to ask him if he needed a light. Alas, the plan flopped because his cigarette was already lit. Oh well, at least she lucked out in matrimony in the end. Tonight Show host Jimmy Fallon has been happily married to his wife Nancy since 2007, but that hasn't stopped him from being the object of many other A-listers' affections. During a 2015 Tonight Show appearance, Nicole Kidman revealed that she was one of those crushes, while she assumed he didn't feel the same. They even hung out in his New York City apartment together one time, but he ended up just playing video games while she was there. And so after oh, about gosh. an hour and a half, I thought, he has no interest. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> As Kidman recapped the evening, Fallon made it clear that he was unaware how she felt. I can't believe I dated Nicole Kidman. This is fantastic. You didn't! And that wasn't the only time that Fallon missed his chance with a major celeb, as he himself had a bit of a crush on his almost famous co-star Kate Hudson. During one Tonight Show episode, he revealed that he believed that he and Hudson might have had a shot, but she went on to date and later marry the Black Crow singer Chris Robinson. And then during a later episode, Hudson got a chance to respond. Jimmy, if you would have actually made a move, I would have totally gone. I, I would have totally gone there. No, you would not. Yes, of course. <laughs> Riverdale star Cole Sprouse was just a kid when he played Ross's son Ben on Friends. Even though he was pretty young at the time, he remembers just how excited he was to work alongside Jennifer Aniston. And honestly, who could blame him? As he admitted to the New York Post in 2017, I had a really, really hard time working with Jennifer Aniston because I was so in love with her. I was infatuated. I was speechless. I'd get all bubbly and forget my lines and completely blank. It was so difficult. Sprouse still occasionally gets called Ben by his fans to this day, despite everything else he's gone on to appear in. As he put it, I was only in seven episodes, but it's funny how people are recognizing me for that because my brother and I have been working since we were eight months old. People can call me Ben on the street and I will turn around. It's a funny little process. Sprouse also talked about his crush on the Today Show, as he revealed, I remember there was a cameraman who was like, little boys got a crush, or I forget what they said. Of course I turned bright red, but I do remember feeling like I fell in love. Pink is known for her edgy looks and tough girl exterior, but that all faded away when she met her celeb crush. During a 2016 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, she talked about meeting Johnny Depp at a record store. She brought up his film Alice Through the Looking Glass, but when she said Alice, Depp assumed that she was talking about rock star Alice Cooper. And then Pink was caught completely off guard when he casually walked on the Kimmel set. Her face turned as pink as her hair, and she had to fan herself after he left. Go you, away! You literally... <laughs> that was awful, you guys! This sucks! <laughs> I hate you, 
I hate you. I Pink later talked about the experience with Entertainment Tonight, as she admitted, Unfortunately, I met Johnny Depp. I had a moment with him earlier on Jimmy Kimmel, and I can't speak around him. It was awful. So I'm just going to keep my head down and just get in the seat, and hopefully it gets dark really quick. The 2016 Video Music Awards featured Rihanna winning the Video Vanguard Award, as she also got to perform a medley of her biggest hits. The award was presented by none other than her frequent collaborator and on-again, off-again love interest Drake. In addition to celebrating her many accomplishments in music and fashion, he also professed his love for the singer, and understandably, it became the talk of the town. As Drake declared during his speech, She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. She's one of my best friends in the world. All my adult life, I've looked up to her even though she's younger than me. She's a living, breathing legend in our industry." Rihanna made a few funny faces while Drake showered her with this praise. And when it was time to hand her the award, she carefully dodged a smooch from him. Although it appeared that the two were good friends, Rihanna told Vogue in 2018 that Drake's speech made her uncomfortable. As she noted, I don't like too many compliments. I don't like to be put on blast. We don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either. It is what it is. Emma Stone fell hard for Leonardo DiCaprio when he was a bright-eyed 23-year-old in the 1997 epic Titanic. After Stone herself became famous, she finally got a chance to meet her childhood crush. When she won the Best Lead Actress Oscar for La La Land, the presenter was none other than DiCaprio. While winning an Academy Award was pretty great, having it handed to her by Jack Dawson was even better. As she recalled on Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show, I'd seen Titanic seven and a half times in theaters. He was the love of my life. I was like, this is officially the most surreal moment of my life. I could not believe it. I think he probably thinks I'm a little weird, because whenever I see him, I'm kind of, hey, how's it going? He's very sweet, though. Unsurprisingly, Stone isn't the only celeb who had a childhood crush on DiCaprio. As Amy Adams admitted on The Late Show in 2016, she had eyes for him when he was on the ABC sitcom Growing Pains. But those butterflies went away after she starred opposite him in 2002's Catch Me If You Can. There's nothing really kills a crush faster than working with somebody. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. No, you, <laughs> Just sort of like... You mean killed it in a great way. Tiffany Haddish isn't shy when it comes to declaring her love for her celebrity crushes, but she hasn't exactly had the best luck when trying to take things a step further. In a video for BuzzFeed in 2018, she was asked about crossing paths with celeb crushes, to which she responded, I have met my celebrity crushes. There are several, and when I met them, I asked them on a date, asked them if I could cook for them, asked them if I could rub on their bodies, they all turned me down. She then named names, including Daily Show host Trevor Noah and Black Panther actor Michael B. Jordan. During a 2018 appearance on Red Table Talk, Haddish revealed that Drake had asked her out on a date after she worked with him on his Nice For What music video. So she set aside a bunch of time, got herself waxed, and picked out a dress. Then when she was asked where they were going, it all deflated. And then he's like, oh man, my bad, family emergency. I'm in Canada right now. And I was like, okay. 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 Haddish then punctuated the story by declaring, I could have made $100,000 today. Hanging up posters of your childhood crush is nothing to be embarrassed about, but having to tell that crush in person about kissing that poster every night is another story. Stunningly, Jamie Dornan did just that when he confessed to Liv Tyler that she was his ultimate crush while growing up. During a game of Never Have I Ever, in a video for British Vogue, Dornan revealed, I had a black and white picture of Liv Tyler by my bed, and I used to kiss it every night before I went to bed. And when I was in New York, I met her. My friend knew the song, so Jimmy, don't you tell Liv about that time. And I had to tell Liv Tyler to her face that I used to kiss a black and white picture of her every night. While this might weird out some people, Tyler was evidently unfazed. As Dornan recalled, she was so lovely about it, but it was mortifying for me. And on a 2021 episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show, Dornan revealed that he actually talked to Tyler on the phone about his crush. Like, oh my God, I can't believe, like, uh, that's the sweetest thing. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm having to deal with this. On her BET talk show, Just Kiki, Kiki Palmer discussed topics like love, fashion, and pop culture. During her first episode, she was in for a big surprise that she had no idea was coming. She shared how much she used to tweet about her celebrity crush, actor Michael Ely, as she excitedly explained, 
Honestly, Michael Ely is so fine. I just had to take a nap on him sometimes. Whenever I see a picture of him, I just immediately knock out because he's too fine. And it really makes me sad because I did my first movie with him ever, which was Barbershop 2, and I was nine. So he'll never ever see me the way that I want him to see me, y'all. After spilling her guts, Palmer looked behind her to discover that Ely was walking right towards her and holding a bouquet. She was so stunned that she jumped on an audience member in disbelief. What'd you say? Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my gosh! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.